In this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Ubuntu and Windows 7. So in Windows you'll need to go to Computer Management then Disk Management. Right click on your hard drive and select Shrink Volume. You'll get this box come up which you need to enter the amount of gigs that you want your partition to be and you'll get this wizard pop up. You can do this or you can skip it which is recommended and leave your hard drive partition unallocated. And after you boot your PC with the Ubuntu CD you need to select your language and then select try Ubuntu without installing. After you do that and everything's loaded you should get to this screen which you need to then click on install Ubuntu. After that pops up this installation wizard will come on screen which you need to select your language then click forward. You need to click on download updates while installing and install this third party software. It'll make it easier and click forward. After you do this you'll get these two options. We're going to select something else and then click forward. And then your hard drives will be scanned which will include your new partition which you need to select and then click new partition table and then continue. After you do that you should see a new partition, free space, so we'll select that. Click on add, then you need to select how big you want your hard drive or the capacity of your space to be, which I'm going to do for this around 8 gig. You need to make sure it's set to primary, beginning, and for use as we're going to use extension 4 journaling system. And we're going to do root for the mount point which is forward slash then click OK. After that you'll see the rest, we're going to click on add again, we're going to make sure it's logical and end, we're going to use as swap area which is like page filing and click ok. Now that's done what we can do is just click on install now. After that you'll need to select your location and your keyboard layout as well as your username and password. I'm going to use a short one for now but you probably want it to be long and then we'll get two options to log on automatically or require a password. Either is up to you. So after you select it, click forward. And now we just wait for Ubuntu to install. It won't take long, but if it does, doesn't matter. After that you should get this screen when everything's installed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. The next one will be on how to repair your master boot record for Windows if you don't like Ubuntu. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.